Hello everyone, welcome to Downtown Tailoring. <sighs> Today's video, <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to fix the front crotch when your pants have zipper. So let's go! If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. So you know, today's video was about how can I avoid fixing the center rise and crotch when there is a big zipper in the way. And uh, you know, because this pants has darts in the center, my goal was to hide whatever I needed to take in besides the darts. And then I was going to shorten the crotch and you know, my job would be pretty easy and very nice. So I started like every other job. I was recording for you guys because I wanted to show you that sometimes we can be lazy. And I started marking everything. And then, and then the problem started to come. When I measure the front, I saw that the crisis line didn't really coincide, didn't really coincide with my measurement. But still I kept going up and then when I went to the top, I realized that the center dart was really shifted. So I couldn't do it. So very bad. <sighs> well, my customer is really nice. She's been my customer for many years. I told her, no, I cannot do that job with the zipper and everything, but I have to do it. So I remove my zipper and I call her. I explain her that I have to do exactly what I told her that I wouldn't do. So I ask her to come and try on again. And then this time I pin the center front just to get the nice line that she needed. And this is how I have now. See, I have my two lines marked. And basically what I'm gonna do first is to balance all the pins and here you go just look at that look it's basically one line and i'm going in between as you can see but i realized something if you are going to do a pattern for a woman pants what you do you put your rise the measurement of your rise and then you mark two inches outside and then two inches two inches you make a curve and if you see in her pants when I do, I basically, I'm marking the two inches normal. So, you know, my customer has a pretty standard body type. So, but in the meantime, you know, I'm just marking what is supposed to be my center line. I mean, where the zipper is, and then I'm leaving half an inch to cover, of course, the zipper. And then I'm going to mark what will be my J. I'm not sure if J is a correct name in English, but this is how I call it in Spanish. It's because that flip mark like a J, you know? That's why I call it like that. So you see that will be folded this way. See, it will be a, like a new shape already. So the job I just did, I have to open and as I said before, it's a little bit more difficult to open, but that's okay. This is part of the job. I'm just kidding about it. After I open everything, I'm just checking that the waistband is like a kind of done. It's not a straight. It's like a punching. And again, if we are coming back to the regular pants, you can see that the waistband goes straight and the sides go so, but, but the, the front has to go even a little down or straight. So I'm going to open this and then now you can see that I'm just modeling a regular normal pattern in a pair of pants. You do alterations because of the body, but uh, sometimes the pants really, the cut are a little bit out of styles or different or, or whatever. So I'm just marking what will be a good curve for my customer. Let me show you something. This is a traditional pair of jeans and I wanted to show you how the jeans is done. And you can see this side, you cannot see one part of the jeans and then the flap is on top. This one will be on top, no problem. And I will open my flap and everything so I can put my zipper in. And as well, I'm going to open the waistband because I am changing the position of the waistband as well. So I'm folding my flap in the new line and sewing it. And as you can see, 
it has shifted a little bit is a little bit different than the original probably this one should have interfacing so let me just add a little bit of interfacing it won't hurt here you go much better it's just that the zipper will look better if it has interfacing and then now i'm gonna sew a little bit my waistband again but this is momentarily because I still I need it open for my zipper but I just want to see if the pants is taking its shape the way it's supposed to take it. So now I put it in my table and now I'm trying to align the center. This part is a little bit trickier as you are creating another pattern. It's not like I just saw and go and it has to be nice and flat you know that's why i'm trying to be so careful so i pin it and then after i pin it i mark it and now i'm reducing my mark because now i know exactly where i'm going to sew everything so now i'm presenting both together and i'm going back to my sewing machine to make the new fabulous curve and as you can see the pants is looking much better right it's looking so flat and nice even after so long the pants has been like that and as you can see the right side is still you can see all the little problems that the pants present itself i will search my curve and then i will go back to my machine and i will put my zipper this time i will make sure that the zipper really really won't be seen i have to always you do like that but in this case because the zipper is exposed at one side you have to be really sure about that i decided to change my foot for a zipper foot because that way will be easier but i have some friends that use just a regular foot but with the toes a little bit smaller and then as you can see i'm sewing with two stitches and then i'm going to pin it close so when i do the j it won't move and another little trick that you have to take in count is to lift that point because this point has to be to the other side you don't want it to get caught in your stitches in the j so i sew my j and as you can see when i am sewing curve i kind of lift my foot all the time and then i go a little bit slower in my curve i do two stitches and the left side is already sewn i will cut the length of the zipper because it's just too long for this pair of pants and be careful with your scissor when you are cutting the zipper because you can damage it now i'm gonna present my zipper in my waist and i will pin the other part and i will just sew with a top stitch then when i have everything together i'm gonna top stitch all the curve of the crotch and then i will go top and then i will do back and forth back and forth and then pivot and i'm going down again and after i have that then i can close again my crotch and here you go this is the result look how it looks before and you know i just wanted to let you know that this is probably part of the style I want to show you the picture of people wearing those kind of pants so that was probably normal at that time but in today's world we want something a little bit better fitted and this is what i did with my customer so guys despite me not having the intentions to do that job for you today here you go i fixed the crotch redoing the whole curve with the zipper if you find this video useful, please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe, share, comment. Bye!